Hello and welcome. This is Al from Z Panel Community. Today I'm going to show you how to manually install WordPress on Z Panel X server. This is our forum for any information you need. Just log in or if you haven't registered yet, just register and we can help you to install Z Panel if you got any problems. The first thing you need to do is just go to wordpress.org and download the latest version of WordPress and in this case I'm going to save it on my desktop once I have installed it sorry uh, once I downloaded it and saved it I'm going to log in to my Z panel X control panel. Once logged in, I'm going to start and create a new database. That I'm going to use for the installation of WordPress. If you go to database management and click on MySQL database, you can start and create one. In this case, I'm going to call it WordPress and click create. Once I've done that, I'm going to go and create a user for this database. Once I type the username, I'm going to select which database I want that user to use and click create. After this, I'm going to unzip the file that I have downloaded and save it on my desktop and create the folder WordPress on my desktop. Once I have unzipped the file, I'm going to launch my FTP program. Once I access the server, I'm going to choose the right folder to upload the file. In this case, I have created beforehand a subdomain called WordPress. And that is where I'm going to upload my files. This is going to take a little while. Once you've finished to upload, all you need to do is go and launch the web browser. In this case, I'm going to uh, go to the URL wordpress.biic.co.cc for myself for this tutorial. As you can see here on the screen, so I can start the configuration. The first thing you need to do is put all the information that you have created beforehand for the database. If you don't remember, all you need to do is just go back and copy and paste. This is the name of the database. Then I'm going to paste 
the username, in this case it was test my SQL, then the password. I leave a local host and then I submit. Once you create the user, it automatically creates a new password. So once I submit it, I can run the install. There we go. All you need to do now is just put the title of your website, the username of the administration, the password. your email and then click install WordPress job done all you need to do now is just look the installation done log in with the information you just put in beforehand the admin and the password Log in and here we go. Everything works perfectly well. This is the back end of WordPress. And I'm going to show you the actual site. Thank you again for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to come and join us on the Panel Forum. I'll see you next time.